Oh, Father Lord God in heaven, Daddy, you are the Lord, that is your name. You will never share your glory with anyone. You will never share your glory with anybody. Almighty God, that is your name. You are the Lord, that is your name. You will never share your glory with anyone. You will never share your glory with anybody. Almighty God, that is your name. You angels are singing, you are worthy. Satan has been giving you before now. But from today, you will sing a new song by the power and the blood of Jesus. Every power that wants you to sing the song of sorrow, that wants you to sing a dirge song, shall be wasted in the mighty name of Jesus. Even as we connect to our Father in heaven this afternoon, let anything and everything that is not favorable to you be uprooted by the power and the blood of Jesus. Anything and everything walking against you anywhere, let the power of God locate them this afternoon and begin to uproot them in the mighty name of Jesus. I bless God for your life and I thank God that you are joining this prayer meeting this afternoon. Even as you have joined this prayer meeting this afternoon, all your chains shall be broken in the name of Jesus. All your shackles shall be destroyed in the name of Jesus. All your afflictions shall be destroyed in the name of Jesus. The sources of affliction in your life shall be destroyed by the power in the blood of Jesus. Even as we connect to our Father in heaven this afternoon, every power that has gathered against you shall scatter in the mighty name of Jesus. Anyone that has been commissioned, anyone that has been assigned to destroy you, they will destroy themselves in the mighty name of Jesus. Any power that is challenging you in the order of Aaron and Miriam, let leprosy fall upon them in the mighty name of Jesus. Every power that is trying to block your way, let the Almighty God uproot them by His tornado power, by His hurricane power, by His tsunami power. In the mighty name of Jesus, because you are joining this prayer line this afternoon, heaven will lift up your head in the mighty name of Jesus. The glory of the living God shall overshadow your life in the mighty name of Jesus.
mighty name of Jesus, as from today, I decree upon your life that your hand desires shall be granted. Your expectations shall no longer be cut off in the mighty name of Jesus. The Bible says in Matthew 7, 7, it says, ask and you shall receive. It says, seek and you shall find. It says, knock and the door shall be opened unto you. Even as we connect to our Father in heaven this afternoon, I pray every prayer you pray this afternoon shall be answered by fire. In the mighty name of Jesus, every good knock, every good door you knock this afternoon shall be opened to you by the power and the blood of Jesus. I pray for somebody that is joining this line right now. Every power locking good doors against you shall be wasted by fire, shall be wasted by thunder. In the mighty name of Jesus, any power that has been assigned to lock your good doors against you, let the thunder of God strike them dead. In the mighty name of Jesus, Makuri Babakashandaraba. Somebody is hearing the sound of my voice and it is coming into my spirit. Any horn of darkness, any horn of darkness in your father's house that wants to bury your head, that wants to bury your glory, I command that horn to catch fire. In the mighty name of Jesus, I command that horn to catch fire. In the mighty name of Jesus, any power that is appearing in your dream in order to pollute you, in order to defile you. I command them to fall down and die in the name of Jesus. Every pollution and defilement of darkness, yes, to amputate your destiny, to amputate your greatness, I command it to scatter by the power in the blood of Jesus. Even as we are connecting to our Father this afternoon, I say receive the wings of an eagle and soar to great heights by the power in the blood of Jesus. Somebody is hearing the sound of my voice right now. I prophesy into your life. Even as you are looking at me right now, receive the wings of an eagle and soar to the mountain top of life. Receive the wings of an eagle and soar to the mountain top of life. In the mighty name of Jesus, Isaiah chapter 40 verse 31 says, he said them that wait upon the Lord shall be strong. He said, my, my state that shall renew their strength. He said they shall mount up with wings as eagles. He said they will run, they will not be weary, they will walk and they will not fail. I pray for somebody that is just joining this line right now. You have been running, you have been fainting. From now, you will no longer faint in the name of Jesus. You will run the race of your greatness and you will get, you will get to your destination by the power in the blood of Jesus. By the power in the blood of Jesus. Marika suri naraba. Marika suri naraba. Somebody is looking at me right now. I prophesy to your life. Let all your your chains, all your yokes, all your burdens, all your bondages be broken by the power in the blood of Jesus, be broken by the power in the blood of Jesus. Every affliction that has entered into your home, I command that affliction to die in the name of Jesus. Every affliction that has entered into your home, I command it to die by the power in the blood of Jesus. Let the fire of God overshadow your life. Let the glory of God overshadow your life. Let the miraculous power of God overshadow your life. In the mighty name of Jesus, somebody is hearing the sound of my voice. You have been believing God for a particular thing for about three years now. But by the power in the blood of Jesus, within the next three days, you will receive answer to that prayer. In the mighty name of Jesus, from this very moment, within the next three days, you will receive answer to your prayers. In the mighty name of Jesus, for the Lord will open your doors. The glory of the living God shall shine upon your life. In the mighty name of Jesus, Marika Suri Naraba. For in Jesus' name we pray. If you are hearing the sound of my voice this afternoon, say, Oh Lord, my Father. Envelop me with your garment of fire in the mighty name of Jesus. Oh Lord, my Father, envelop me with your garment of fire. Envelop my wife and my children with your garment of fire in the mighty name of Jesus. Envelop mountain of fire, miracles ministry, Tampa, Florida, with your garment of fire in the mighty name of Jesus. No evil shall befall me, no evil shall befall my wife, no evil shall befall my children in the mighty name of Jesus. Oh Lord, my 
my father and envelop my life with your garment of fire. Somebody is hearing the sound of my voice right now. You are having problems in your marriage. You are having problems in your home. I want you to pray this prayer. Oh Lord my father, the God of Elijah, the God that answered my fire, envelop my marriage with your fire. In the mighty name of Jesus, envelop my home with your fire. In the mighty name of Jesus, envelop my marriage with your fire. In the mighty name of Jesus, my Father, my God, envelop my wife with your fire. Envelop my children with your fire. Envelop my career with your fire. Envelop my job with your fire. Envelop, yes, Marika Suribaba, my businesses, my investment, my finances. Father, envelop it with your fire. In the mighty name of Jesus. Oh Lord, my Father, I need the envelope of your fire. I need the envelope of your fire. You are just joining this line right now. I command the fire of God to envelope your ministry, to envelope your home, to envelope your children. In the mighty name of Jesus. Ramashi Kaliba Kuribaba Kaskeneye. Roman Leporia. I recharge your life with the fire of the Holy Ghost. In the name of Jesus, begin to say, Oh Lord, my Father, recharge my life with the fire of the Holy Ghost. In the name of Jesus, Oh Lord, my Father, recharge my life with the fire of the Holy Ghost. In the name of Jesus, Oh Lord, my Father, Shekinah King of Glory, the one and only God, recharge my life, yes, with the fire of the Holy Ghost. For in Jesus' name we are prayed. I welcome you once again to this platform, the platform of Mountain of Fire Miracles Ministries, Tampa, Florida. And I know that God is going to bless you richly today. In the mighty name of Jesus, in recent times, the Lord has been giving us excellent messages. Messages in due season. In fact, a lot of people have been calling me up and saying, Ah, Pastor, that message was for me. And I pray that today, this message shall be for you in the mighty name of Jesus. Today, we are looking at the topic, Tabitha, Tabitha, my helpers shall not die. Tabitha, Tabitha, my helpers shall not die. Somebody is on this prayer line say, Powers assigned to bury my divine helpers. You are a liar. Die, 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 die in the name of Jesus. Any power from anywhere that has been assigned to bury my divine helpers, to bury those that heaven has assigned to help me. Oh Lord, my Father, let them die. In the name of Jesus, any power that wants to kill my Tabitha, any power that wants to bury my Dockers, I command you to die. 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 In the name of Jesus, any power assigned from the pit of hell to bury my Tabitha, to bury my Dockers, you are a liar. Die by fire. Die by fire. Die by fire. Die by fire. In the name of Jesus, I pray for somebody here. Those that are helping you, they will not die. Those that are helping you, they will not run away from you. In the name of Jesus, every power trying to chase away your divine helpers shall fall down and die. 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 In the name of Jesus, any power from your father's house, any power from your mother's house, any power from your in-law's house, any power from your place of birth, any power in the land where you are dwelling right now, where you are praying this prayer that is trying to chase away your divine helpers, they shall fall down and die. 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 For in Jesus' name we pray. We are looking at the story of Tabitha, who is also called Dorcas. Praise the Lord. I will say, Tabitha, my helpers shall not die. In the name of Jesus. In Acts chapter 9, from verse 36 to 41, it was an amazing story of how a helper called Tabitha died. 
Somebody is looking at me right now. I say your helpers will not die in the name of Jesus. Those that heaven has appointed to help you, they will not die. They will not die. They will not die. They will not die. They will not die, will not die. in the mighty name of Jesus. <laughs> The reason why helpers are very important in the life of a man or a woman is that sometimes without a helper, a man or a woman may never prosper in life. Sometimes your prosperity is in the hand of your divine helpers. You are going to shout like this, say, my divine helpers. Carry my prosperity wherever you may be. Look at me by fire in the mighty name of Jesus. My divine helpers, carry my prosperity, carry my progress. Look at me by fire. Look at me by fire. My divine helpers, look at me by fire. My divine helpers, look at me by fire. Somebody is hearing the sound of my voice now. You have been praying for your divine helper to look at you. I prophesy in to your life today that your divine helper will locate you by fire because you have come on this prayer line your divine helper shall locate you by fire in the mighty name of jesus in acts chapter 9 verse 36 to 41 the bible says now there was at joppa a certain disciple named tabitha which by interpretation is called Dorcas. Pray that prayer again. My Tabitha will not die in the name of Jesus. My Dorcas will not die in the name of Jesus. My Tabitha will not die in the name of Jesus. My Tabitha, wherever you may be, look at me by fire. 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 In the mighty name of Jesus. This woman was full of good works and arms deeds, which she did. She was into charity. Amen. And it came to pass in those days that she was sick and died. Ah! Your helpers will not fall sick. Your helpers will not die. Your helpers will not fall sick. All those that heaven has appointed to promote your destiny, they will not fall sick. They will not die. They will not fall sick. They will not die in the mighty name of Jesus. And it came to pass in those days that she was sick and died, whom when they had washed, they laid her in an upper chamber. They were, they were about to bury her. Amen. And for as much as Lida was nigh to Joppa, thank God for Lida, another city beside Joppa, where, praise the Lord, and the disciples had heard that Peter was there. Amen. They sent unto him two men, desiring him that he would not delay to come to them. I decree and I prophesy upon your life. From today, your divine helpers will no longer delay to come to you. In the mighty name of Jesus, your divine helpers will no longer delay to come to you. In the name of Jesus, any power, any spirit, any personality, any curse, any covenant that is delaying your divine helpers from coming to you, I command them to die. 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 In the name of Jesus. I say, somebody is on this prayer line. Your divine helpers will locate you by fire. In the mighty name of Jesus. Then Peter arose and went with them. And when he was come, they brought him into the upper chamber. And all the widows stood by him, weeping and showing the coats and garments which Dorcas made while she was with them. But Peter put them all forth and kneeled down and prayed and turning him to the body said, you see, Peter prayed. I pray for somebody today. You will pray a prayer that will resurrect your dead divine helpers in the name of Jesus. The prayer you will pray on this mountain today will resurrect all your dead divine helpers in the name of Jesus. I say, I profess into your life that every prayer you will pray on this mountain today will resurrect 
all your divine helpers in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. And turning him to the body, said, Tabitha, arise. And she opened her eyes. Raise up your right hand. My divine, my dead divine helpers, by the resurrection power in the blood of Jesus, arise by fire in the mighty name of Jesus. My dead divine helpers, my wife's dead divine helpers, my children's dead divine helpers, by the resurrection power in the blood of Jesus, I say, arise by fire, arise by fire, arise by fire. For in Jesus' name we pray. And she opened her eyes. And when she saw Peter, she sat up. And he gave her his hand and lifted her up. And when he had called the saints and widows, presented her alive by the power in the blood of Jesus. I prophesy into the life of somebody this afternoon. Within the next seven days, you will locate your divine helpers. You will find them alive. You will locate your divine helpers. You will find them alive in the mighty name of Jesus. And it was known throughout all Joppa, and many believed in the Lord. I said, Beloved, to every man, to every woman on this earth, a divine helper has been assigned. Ah, say every divine helper assigned to my life from heaven. Locate me by fire in the name of Jesus. Every divine helper that has been assigned to my destiny from the throne of grace, that has been assigned to my wife's destiny from the throne of grace, that has been assigned to my children's destinies from the throne of grace, locate us by fire, locate us by fire, locate us by fire, locate us by fire. For in Jesus' name we pray. Yes, you are here this afternoon to pray. And the Lord will answer your prayer by fire in the mighty name of Jesus. Remember the Bible says pray without ceasing. In Luke chapter 8, 18. Luke chapter 18 verse 1. He said, he said the Lord Jesus told them yet another parable. And he told them, he said unto them, men ought to pray and not to faint. The Bible says no man can receive anything except it be given from him above. John chapter 3 verse 27. John answered and said, A man can receive nothing except it be given him from heaven. All my heavenly blessings locate me by fire in the name of Jesus. All my heavenly blessings, all my wife's heavenly blessings, all my children's heavenly blessings, all the heavenly blessings of members of MFF Tampa, Florida, all the heavenly blessings of all those that are hearing the sound of my voice this afternoon. Locate us by fire, locate us by fire. My heavenly blessings, my divine blessings, locate me by fire. Look at me by fire. Look at me by fire. Look at me by fire. For in Jesus' name we are prayed. Every man or woman receives from heaven. But God will not physically come down to bless his people. God will not physically come down. Sometimes he sends angels. And sometimes divine helpers have been assigned to help a man or a woman to become what heaven wants them to become. Marie Kasuri Baba say, I shall become what heaven wants me to become. Whether the enemy likes it or not, in the name of Jesus, I shall become what heaven wants me to become. By the power in the blood of Jesus, I shall not become what my enemies want me to become. In the name of Jesus, I, my wife, and my children shall not become what our enemies want us to become. We shall not become what the pit of hell wants us to become. In the mighty name of Jesus, somebody is hearing the sound of my voice. The enemy wants you to become a wreck. But you will never become a wreck in the name of Jesus. Every power that wants you to become a wreck shall be wasted by fire. Shall be wasted by fire. Shall be wasted by fire. In the mighty name of Jesus. So the story of Tabitha in the Bible gave credence to this fact, praise the Lord. 
And most times we see or hear that widows are often neglected and they suffer a lot. Every widow that is hearing the sound of my voice this afternoon, I shut down suffering and struggling in your life by the power in the blood of Jesus. And I prophesy, I declare that man, that woman that heaven has appointed to help you, they will locate you by fire in the name of Jesus. Every widow that hears the sound, this sound of my voice will no longer struggle, will no longer suffer, will no longer struggle, will no longer suffer, will no longer struggle. We no longer suffer in the name of Jesus. Every widow that hears this prayer, they will enjoy their lives, they will prosper, they will be promoted, they will progress by the power in the blood of Jesus. They will no longer know poverty, they will no longer know lack, they will no longer know penury in the name of Jesus. Every widow that hears this prayer by the power in the blood of Jesus, your life will transform. Heaven will help will come from above even for you and your children by the power in the blood of Jesus. Praise the Lord. I say most times we see or hear that widows are often neglected and they suffer a lot. Even in the time of the apostles, there was an occurrence in the church. Even in the time of the apostles, there was an occurrence in the church that led to the neglect, to the neglect of some widows. Praise the Lord. And this almost led to to some troubles in the church. If you look at Acts, Acts chapter 6, verse 1, I thank God for somebody on this line. By the power in the blood of Jesus, every problem you have as a widow disappears today in the name of Jesus. By the power in the blood of Jesus, within the next seven days, somebody is going to come with heavenly blessings into your life that will transform your life and the lives of your children in the mighty name of Jesus. Even in the Bible days, widows, the widows were neglected. They had problems. Acts chapter 6 verse 1. The Bible says, And in those days, when the number of the disciples was multiplied, there arose a murmuring of the Grecians against the Hebrews, because their widows were neglected in daily ministration. Somebody is hearing the sound of my voice. Every agenda of neglect for me and my family collapse by fire in the name of Jesus. Every agenda of neglect for me and my family collapse by fire, collapse by fire, collapse by fire, collapse by fire, collapse by fire. Every agenda of neglect for me, my wife and my children, I command you to collapse by fire in the name of Jesus. Somebody is hearing the sound of my voice, you will no longer be neglected. In the name of Jesus, you shall be celebrated. You shall be embraced. In the name of Jesus, you shall be supported. You shall be helped. In the name of Jesus. So it is a known fact that widows have been neglected from Bible times. Praise the Lord. So the, the entrance of Tabitha into this area of charity was a very noble concept. Praise the Lord. Thank God for people like Tabitha. Amen. She took care of the widows and took care of their needs. Somebody is hearing the sound of my voice from today. Heaven will take care of your needs in the name of Jesus. Heaven will take care of the needs of your family in the name of Jesus. Heaven will take care of the need of your wife. Heaven will take care of the need of your husband. Heaven will take care of the needs of your children in the name of Jesus. Whether it is finance, whether it is health, whatever it is it may be, heaven will take care of you and your family in the name of Jesus. I say the Bible says she was full of good works and arms deeds, which is referred to in our modern world as charity. Amen. Or what most people now call NGO, non-governmental organizations, non-profitable organization. The Lord will help us in the mighty name of Jesus. It has been even from the, the time of the apostles 
Praise the Lord. That, that means Tabitha was an NGO. <laughs> Tabitha was a, a, was a caregiver. Ch Tabitha was a charity woman or charitable woman. Amen. Only God knows how cold it must have been at winter in the biblical days when everyone neglected the widows. Tabitha made sure they were kept warm by sewing them coats and garments. Maruka Suli Baba, somebody is hearing the sound of my voice. Heaven will cover your nakedness in the name of Jesus. I prophesy into your life that heaven will cover your nakedness in the name of Jesus. Heaven will cover your nakedness in the name of Jesus. Heaven will cover your nakedness in the name of Jesus. You will not be put to shame. You will not be put to shame. You will not be put to shame. You will not be put to shame in the name of Jesus. Somebody said, begin to repeat that word. Say, heaven will cover my nakedness in the name of Jesus. Heaven will cover my wife's nakedness in the name of Jesus. Heaven will cover my children's nakedness in the name of Jesus. We shall not be put to shame. We shall not be put to shame. Oh, Lord, my Father, envelop me with your garment of fire. Envelop my family with your garment of fire. We shall not be put to shame in the mighty name of Jesus. Tabitha made sure that they were kept warm by sewing coats and garments for them. No wonder the amount of weeping and wailing. Amen. Because all the widows, all that the widows were thinking at that moment is who will sew us coats and garments again? Who is going to help us like Tabitha again? Who is going to help us? Ah, I pray for you. You will impact the lives of men and women before you leave this world. In the mighty name of Jesus, you will impact the lives of men and women before you leave this world. In the name of Jesus, men and women will know your worth. In the mighty name of Jesus, everyone will empower you to impact the lives of men and women all over the world. In the name of Jesus, somebody is hearing the sound of my voice. You want to go into a non a non Nonprofit uh, charitable organization, heaven will empower you. Heaven will empower you. Heaven will empower you. Heaven will empower you. The throne of grace will empower you in the name of Jesus. Don't look back anymore. Don't delay anymore. I will be listening the prophecy. Go ahead and do it. Go ahead and do it. It will succeed. It will prosper. It will, yes, you want to do something concerning widow and children. You want to do something concerning widow and the uh, and the orphans. Heaven will back you up. Heaven will back you up. Heaven will back you up. Heaven will back you up with everything that you need, both finance and material, in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. I say, if this woman dies and leaves us, amen, who is going to sow us coats? Who is going to sow us? So, so for us, garments. No wonder they were very desperate to call her back <laughs> from her journey to heaven. They didn't want her better to go. If Tabitha goes, who is, who is going to help us? Praise the Lord. They were very desperate to wake her up and, and come back from the land of the dead. You are going to shout this prayer. Say, my divine help us. If you are already dead, wake up in the order of Tabitha, in the name of Jesus, my divine help us, my wife's divine help us, my children's divine help us, if you're already dead, wake up in the order of Tabitha, wake up in the order of Dockers, wake up in the order of Tabitha, wake up in the order of Dockers, for in Jesus' name we pray. I say immediately, Amen. Immediately, they called Peter, Amen. He, he came there and raised Tabitha, Amen. They didn't waste time, praise the Lord, in summoning Peter to come and bring back their divine helper. They didn't waste time. Immediately, they, the Peter come, they learned he was in Joppa. Amen. Near. Amen. They, they learned he was in Joppa. And they called, they said, come, come, Peter, come. We know you have been raising the dead. Just come. We, our divine helper must not die. Your divine helper will not die. In the name of Jesus. And thank God for raising Tabitha through the hand of Peter. Number one, from the context of Tabitha in this story, who then is a divine helper? Or who is your divine helper? Number one, 
Your, the Lord Jesus Christ is our heavenly divine helper. Our number one divine helper is the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. I said, while other physical divine helpers are the human facilitators. Praise the Lord. The human facilitators are the physical divine helpers. The Lord Jesus Christ is our heavenly divine helpers. Amen. So, while our physical divine helpers are the human facilitators that heaven has appointed to help us or to assist us in becoming what we have been destined to become. Say, any man or woman that has been appointed to assist me in becoming what heaven wants me to become, uh, locate me by fire, locate me by fire, locate me by fire. In the name of Jesus, somebody, this is a golden prayer for you. It's a golden opportunity. Because without that divine helper, you cannot be anything. Maruki si Kalibaba, that man, that woman, that divine helper, that heaven has appointed to assist me in becoming great, in becoming what heaven wants me to become. Locate me by fire. Locate me by fire. Locate me by fire. For in Jesus' name we pray. Number two, like the widows in this story, a divine helper is that man or woman that the Lord has sent along our paths in times of great needs. That sometimes you are in great need just like the widows and Tabitha came their way. The same way for some men and some women. Some people have been appointed in their time of need. Those people will just appear. Marie Kasuri Baba, I pray every divine helper that has been appointed for your time of need shall locate you by fire, shall locate you by fire, shall locate you by fire in the mighty name of Jesus. As a, a praise the Lord. The Lord will help us in the name of Jesus. Number three, in the life of Joseph, amen, in Egypt, a divine destiny helper is that man or woman that heaven has appointed to raise a voice of favor for his greatness. Say, my father and my God. That man, that woman, that heaven has appointed to raise a voice of favor for my greatness. Let them locate me by fire. 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 That man, that woman, that heaven has appointed to raise a voice of favor for my greatness. I say, locate me by fire. Locate my wife by fire. Locate my children by fire. Locate my family by fire. In the mighty name of Jesus. Praise the Lord. Of course, if you look at Genesis chapter 41, Genesis chapter 41 from verse 9 to 14. The Bible says, Then spake the butler unto Pharaoh, saying, I do remember my fault this day. The butler that was supposed to help Joseph forgot. I pray. Even if your helpers have suffered lost memory, let the power of God begin to put into their remembrance that they are, they, are, they, they are appointed to help you in the name of Jesus. All your divine helpers that are suffering loss of memory right now, let heaven begin to baptize them with fresh memory so that they can, they can remember that they are supposed to help you in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. So then, then spake the chief butler unto Pharaoh, saying, I do remember my fault this day. Pharaoh was wrought with his servants and put me in in what in, word in the captain of the guard's house, both me and the chief baker. And we dreamed, and we dreamed a dream in one night. I and he, we dreamed each man according to the interpretation of his dream. And there was there with us a young man. Somebody is going to speak in your favor in the name of Jesus. Within the next seven days, by the power in the blood of Jesus, where decisions are being made concerning you, heaven will raise a voice of favor for you in the name of Jesus. Heaven will raise a voice of favor for you in the name of Jesus. Somebody is on this prayer line. I prophesy to your life within the next seven days, wherever 
a decision that will impact your life forever is being taken. Heaven will raise a voice of favor for you. Heaven will raise a voice of favor for your family in the mighty name of Jesus. And there was there with us a young man, a Hebrew, servant to the captain of the guard. And we told him, and he interpreted to us our dreams. To each man, according to his dream, he did interpret. Praise the Lord. And it came to pass, as he interpreted to us, so it was. Me he restored unto my office, and him he had. Then Pharaoh sent and called Joseph, and they brought him hastily out of the dungeon. Somebody is here this afternoon. Heaven will bring you out of the dungeon of darkness in the name of Jesus. Heaven will hastily release you, bring you out of the dungeon of darkness that witchcraft powers have kept you in the mighty name of Jesus. Your glory shall shine again by the power in the blood of Jesus. The glory of God shall overshadow your life again in the mighty name of Jesus. The Bible says, and they brought him hastily out of the dungeon. And he shaped himself and changed his raiment and came unto Pharaoh. I prophesy to the life of somebody watching me right now. Heaven will give you a change of raiment today in the name of Jesus. Heaven will give you a change of garments today. Heaven will give you a change of raiment today in the mighty name of Jesus. The Bible says it gives beauty for ashes. It gives the garment of praise even for money. Somebody is here, you have been money. Somebody is here, you have been worried. Heaven will give you a garment of praise today in the name of Jesus. The Lord will change your garments today. The Lord will change your garments today. The Lord will give, give change your garment today in the name of Jesus. Somebody is hearing the sound of my voice. You have been wearing the garment of failure. But from today, you will begin to wear the garment of supernatural success in the mighty name of Jesus. You have been wearing the garment of disappointment. From today, you will begin to wear the garment of divine appointment in the mighty name of Jesus. Makuri babaka shantari bakuria. For in Jesus' name we, we pray. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I say without this kind of divine helper, without this kind of divine helper, Joseph would have wrought in jail. Joseph would have wrought in jail if not for that voice. Somebody is here. A voice will speak in your favor within the next seven days. In the name of Jesus, I repeatedly prophesy again within the next seven days. A voice will speak in your favor that will promote you to stardom, that will enlarge your coast, that will expand your, your, your coast, that will enlarge your coast by the power in the blood of Jesus. Look at what happened there. A voice just spoke. He said, Pharaoh, I'm sorry. It is my fault that I didn't remember. Ah! Somebody is hearing the sound of my voice this, this afternoon. The throne of grace will remember you for good. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. I say, Joseph would have wrought in jail. And his greatness would not have seen the light of the day. Ah! Somebody needs to pray. Say, any power that does not want my greatness to see the light of the day. Any power that does not want my greatness to see the light of the day, you are a liar. Die in the name of Jesus. Die in the name of Jesus. Die in the name of Jesus. There is somebody that is on this line. You are a great man. You are a great woman. But they have not allowed your greatness to see the light of the day. Any power, any congregation of wicked elders, any committee of witchcraft powers that do not want your greatness to see the light of the day. I command them to scatter by fire. I command them to scatter by thunder. I command them to scatter by fire. In the mighty name of Jesus. Already the enemy through Potiphar's wife had sentenced his destiny to jail. Praise the Lord. If not for the voice of favor that spoke through the butler, his divine helper. Amen. I say a lot of people's destinies have been sentenced to jail. You are going to pray again. Say, powers 
that want to sentence my destiny to jail. You are a liar. Die in the name of Jesus. Every power that wants to sentence my destiny, that wants to sentence my wife and my children's destinies to jail, you are a liar. Die by fire. Die by fire. Die by fire. Die by fire. For in Jesus' name we pray. I say a lot of people's destinies have been sentenced to the dungeon of life, to the very bottom of the valley of the shadow of death. Praise the Lord. And they will need a divine helper sent from heaven to deliver them, to bail them out. Ah, I pray for somebody on this prayer line. Heaven will bail out your destiny. In the name of Jesus, look at all the witches in your father's house. All the wizards in your father's house, they have gathered to put your destiny in a dungeon. But today, by the power and the blood of Jesus, heaven will bail out your destiny, even from the dungeon of darkness. Heaven will bail out your destiny from the dungeon of darkness. Heaven will bail out your destiny from the dungeon of darkness. In the mighty name of Jesus. A divine helper is that man or woman that heaven has appointed to point you the way to your greatness, to point you to the way of your greatness. Say, oh Lord, my father, that divine helper that has been appointed to point me in the way of my greatness. Let the divine helper locate me, locate my wife, locate my children, locate my family by fire in the name of Jesus. The reason why some people have not become great in life is because they have not yet located their divine helpers. That's why I say you will locate your divine helper by fire, by thunder, in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. I, I say, and may you locate your divine helpers today in the mighty name of Jesus. A divine helper is a man or a woman that heaven has appointed to facilitate your, pro, your, your prosperity and your progress in life. A man, a woman that has been facilitated. Amen. That has been appointed to facilitate your prosperity and your progress in life. You will see some people will just appear in your life. They will be helping you to look for job. They will help you to look for business. They are appointed helpers. Praise the Lord. I said the Almighty God proposed the future prosperity and progress of the nation of Israel. The Lord planned. You know God is a future planner. He planned the future of Israel. Amen. Joseph before them, even though he entered Egypt in fetters and in iron like a slave, had been appointed as the divine helper of Israel. Praise the Lord. If you look at Psalm, Psalm 105, verse 17 to 24, I read very quickly. The Bible says, Psalm 105, verse 17 to 24, the mystery of the gospel. Eh? God was going to use Joseph as a divine helper for Israel in the time of drought, in the time of famine. He sent him ahead as a slave to go into the land. Look at the scriptures. He sent a man before them, even Joseph, who was sold for a servant, whose feet they hurt with fetters. He was laid in iron until the time that his word came. I prophesy into somebody's life today. Today, your word will come. Your word of prosperity. Your word of promotion. Your word of elevation. Your word of progress will come today. We will locate you today in the mighty name of Jesus. The Bible says, until the time. That is what came, which means he was sent as a slave to be in Egypt for Israel. They put him in chains in Egypt for Israel. Somebody is here in this land right now. It's as if you are in chains. But you have been set, sent ahead for your father's house, for your generation, for your family. Even though you are going through a lot right now, but you have been sent to deliver a generation. Hey. The Bible says, the word of the Lord tried him. The king, verse 20, the king sent and loosed him. 
even the ruler of the people, and let him go. I pray your divine helper will be released today by the power in the blood of Jesus. Your divine helper shall be released today by the power in the blood of Jesus. Your divine helper shall be released today and they will look at you in the name of Jesus. The Bible says, the king sent and loose him, even the ruler of the people, and let him go free. He made him lord of his house. That was where his own destiny started. He was there in Egypt to become a prime minister. They started by making him, amen, <laughs> praise the Lord. He made him lord of his house and ruler of all the substance to bind his princes at pleasure. He gave him power even to bind the princes and teach his senators wisdom. So they even had senators in Egypt at that time. It's in the Bible. <laughs> Israel also came into Egypt and Jacob sojourned in the land of Ham and he increased his people greatly and made them stronger than their enemies. Beloved, just look at the Bible. The Bible is too much. He said, so all the stories we had, they threw him in the pit, they tore his coat, they did this, they did that to Joseph. It was actually a future plan for the nation of Israel. I don't know what you are going through right now, but heaven has sent you forth as the divine helper of your father's house and the throne of grace will back you up in the name of Jesus. The throne of grace will back you up in the name of Jesus. No matter what you are going through right now, you will come out victorious by the power in the blood of Jesus. I say, beloved, just look at the Bible. Who will ever think that Joseph being tortured, being tormented, thrown into the pit, sold into slavery, sent into prison yard, was actually appointed as the future divine helper of Israel. It is amazing. It's good to read the Bible. Please read the Bible all the time. Praise the Lord. Say, oh Lord, if my divine helper is in shackles right now, I want you to pray that prayer. Oh Lord, if my divine helpers are in shackles right now, release them by fire. In the mighty name of Jesus, oh Lord, my Father, if my divine helpers, my wife's divine helpers, my children's divine helpers are in shackles right now, Father, release them by fire. Father, release them by fire. Father, release them by fire. For in Jesus' name we pray. I say the Bible says, the word of the Lord tried him until the time that his word came. The word of the Lord tried him until the time that his word came. Praise the Lord. Somebody is here, you have been suffering for too long. I prophesy once again. Because the time to favor your Zion is now. Begin to receive the, your word of promotion, your word of elevation, your word of upliftment by the power in the blood of Jesus. Maybe your divine helper is still being tried by God. Maybe your divine helper is still under trial. You better cry to God to release the word that will empower your helper. Amen. So that they can help you. Amen. Say, oh Lord, empower my divine helpers to help me. In the name of Jesus. Oh Lord, my Father, empower my divine helpers to help me. In the name of Jesus. I say, whether you believe it or not, this is the story of a lot of people. It is either one, their divine helper is still in some spiritual prison yard somewhere. Amen? Where they have been incapacitated to render any help like Joseph when he was in prison. Because when somebody is in prison, they can't help anyone. Praise the Lord. Or they are outrightly dead like Tabitha. Whether your divine helper is incarcerated or is dead, heaven will arise on your behalf. In the name of Jesus. Heaven will wake them up like Tabitha. Heaven will release them like Joseph. In the mighty name of Jesus. So number two, what happens when the divine helper of a man or a woman dies or they have been permanently incarcerated? What happens if they die or they have been permanently incarcerated? As I'm looking at the story of Joseph in Psalm 105 verse 7 to 24 again, we will realize that whilst Joseph was still incarcerated, he could not facilitate the 
prosperity, the progress, and the greatness of Israel. Until Joseph came, until Joseph came out of prison, Israel languished in drought, in famine, in penury, in poverty. I say, remember, they had to eventually come to Egypt, the land of the enemies of their fathers, to buy food, to beg for bread. They had to come to Egypt. Praise the Lord. As long as a man or a woman's destiny helper is still under incarceration, they will continue to wallow in poverty, wallow in penury, wallow in lack, and they will continue to struggle and suffer. Ah! Say, powers that want me to continue to struggle, powers that want me to continue to suffer, you are a liar. Die in the name of Jesus. Die in the name of Jesus. Die in the name of Jesus. For in Jesus' name we pray. As a such persons, we never know prosperity and progress until their divine helpers have been released to locate and to help them. The Lord will help us in Jesus' name. And there are millions and millions of people like this in this, in this world today whose divine helpers have been incarcerated or locked up in the dungeon of darkness. When a divine helper is incarcerated, there is still hope for the man or woman they are meant to help because they are still alive just that they are in prison. At least if they can pray very well, heaven may intervene and release the divine helper like it happened when Paul was incarcerated. The same Paul that woke up Tabitha, he was also put in prison. Praise the Lord that, that Herod wanted to kill him. In Acts chapter 12, I read quickly from Acts chapter 12, verse 1 to 5. Now about that time, Herod the king stretched forth his hands to vex certain of the church. It is not today that the persecution of church started. It started even from Bible times. And he killed James, the brother of John, with a sword. And because he saw he pleased the Jews, he proceeded further to take Peter also. Then were the days of unleavened bread. And when he had apprehended him, he put him in prison and delivered him to four quaternions of soldiers to keep him, intending after Easter to bring him forth to the people. Peter therefore was kept in the prison. But prayer, but prayer was made without ceasing of the church unto God for him. You can see, you have to pray without ceasing. You have to pray all the time. You cannot stop praying. No matter what is happening, keep praying. Praise the Lord. Remember, it was this same Peter that raised Tabitha from death. Now, the same Peter, a divine helper, was put in prison to be killed like James. But thank God for the praying church. I pray <laughs> your church shall become a praying church in the mighty name of Jesus. This is why it is good for the church to pray all the time. This is why it is good for the church to pray all the time. You know the rest of the story. And an angel of the living God was dispatched from heaven to release him. I prophesy into the life of somebody here this afternoon. The angel of the living God will be dispatched to release your incarcerated divine helper in the mighty name of Jesus. But if the divine helper dies, then help ceases. Except the Lord decides, amen, to send another helper. If God had not used Peter to raise Tabitha, that could have been the end of help for the widows. Because if Tabitha had died, maybe another Tabitha would not have come. Praise Amen. And the beginning of his great suffering for them. The Lord will help us in the name of Jesus. So finally today, I say if you are hearing the sound of my voice today, what can you do if your divine helper has been incarcerated? Or they are dead. What can you do? Praise the Lord. Number one, I say give your life to Christ so that you can pray for your divine helper like Peter did to raise up Tabitha. You need the power of Christ to raise them from the dead. You need the power of Christ to release them from their incarceration. So you see, you need to give your life to Christ. Praise the Lord. So that you can also help your divine helpers. Praise the Lord. Look at the widows. They help Tabitha by summoning Peter. Peter, come, come, come. Come and raise this woman because she has been sewing coats and garments for us during winter when nobody is going to help us. This woman cannot go. You have to raise her now. So the widows cried out and God sent Peter to raise Tabitha. 
you have to learn to cry out. Praise the Lord. But of course, you can only cry effectively. The Bible says, the fervent, effectual prayer of a righteous man availeth much. You can only cry effectively when you have given your life to Christ. Amen. You can also pray that the Lord send another helper or comforter if they are already dead or buried. In John 14, 16, the Bible says, And I will pray the Father, and he shall give you another comforter that he may abide with you forever. Amen. You can pray. Oh Lord, if my divine helper is already dead, send another one to me by your mighty power. I say living a holy and a righteous life will really help in empowering your divine helper. The more, the holier you are, the more righteous you are, the stronger your divine helper is going to be. I say study and meditate on the word of God. Look at all the things we have seen today. Look at the story of Joseph. He was sent as a divine helper. Look at the senators in Egypt. If you don't read the Bible, how do you know all these things? Amen. Never break fellowship with the Lord and the people of God. Never break fellowship with the Lord and the people of God. Everlasting Father, Shekinah King of Glory, I thank you for all your children that have joined this fellowship, this hour of uh, deliverance power program this afternoon. My Father, my God, the Atabita will never die in the name of Jesus. And if the Atabita is already dead, Father, raise that Tabita today by fire in the mighty name of Jesus. The Lord will give you the grace to live a holy and a righteous life all the days of your life. And everything you have lost, heaven will restore back to you in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, we just thank you for everything. To you, we give all the glory, all the honor, all the adorations. For in Jesus' name, we are prayed. We are connecting life to you from Mountain of Fire and Miracles Ministries, Tampa, Florida, the online church, especially because of this coronavirus that is going all over the place, but it will never come to your address. It will never come to your home in the name of Jesus. You will not be infected. No one in your family will be infected. No one will die, but live in your household in the mighty name of Jesus. Let us share the grace, the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us now and forevermore. Amen. Surely God's goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our lives, and we shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever. Amen. Seven powerful hallelujah. Let's go. Hallelujah. 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 God bless you. Thank you for joining uh, today's program. See you again next time. God bless you. Bye.